So I just want to start off by saying that I am completely aware of the fact that I have pillow face. Just to get that out of the way. Welcome to my first time playing with the Naked Heat palette. I got it a couple of weeks ago but haven't had any time to mess around with it. This is my first time doing a full eye look and I hope you guys like it. I'm just blending sauce mostly on the crease but making sure to blend it out into the upper crease and a little bit on the lid. This color is nice for accentuating your crease on one of those no makeup makeup day kind of days. I found that with the natural hair brush, it picks up a lot more pigment. In one of my last videos, I mentioned that I didn't know the difference between a synthetic hair brush and a natural hair brush, and now I know. So I had to make sure I went back in with a synthetic brush to make sure everything was evenly blended. Now I'm taking He Devil and focusing it on the outer corner of my eyelid and into the crease just to add a little bit more dimension and deepen up the color. With this brush and my heavy hand, it added way too much color all at once. So I went back in with the Luxie 205 and just made sure to blend that out even more. Now I'm just going back in with He Devil and deepening up everything that I had put down in the first spot. And I'm making sure to pat the product where I want to put it before I start blending it out. I'm just learning from my mistakes when I put down low blow. And in case you haven't noticed, there's a lot of blending happening in this video because I wanted to make sure everything looked flawless. I'm putting in Fuego as close to my lash line as possible, and to be honest, it didn't really show up very well. I love using my fingers for any kind of shimmery shadow. I feel like that's how it shows up best. And I just put this in the center of my lid. Now I'm taking Lumbre and I'm adding that to the inner corner of my lid. And to be honest, it looks the same on the eyes. So I had to swatch them next to each other. They're two different shades, but they looked super similar. So I went back in and just added a little bit more, see if that helped. And it didn't really make a difference. Here I'm trying to deepen up the outer corner and I found it was way more direct and precise when I lifted my hand up and came directly at it, but I also made sure to blend it out to make sure that everything looks nice and seamless. And I wanted to deepen up my upper crease to give it a more smoky eyed look so I took low blow again and just made sure to blend everything out. Is that even an upper crease? It's kind of like lower brow space. Now I'm just finishing off my face and I think I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear Liquid To Go Compact. It's a very luminous finish. I'm still trying to figure out how to work with it. And this is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer, and I'm just highlighting my face with this. I'm trying to finish up my face so that I could do my lower lash line already. Now I'm just setting my under eyes with my NYC Translucent Powder, and I'm not baking, I'm just pressing it into my skin. So I'm lightly dabbing sauce underneath my eyes to place the powder where I want it and it actually came out way more pigmented than I thought it was going to be. I focused most of the color on the outer corner and then once most of the product was off my brush I brought it into the inside and then blended out lightly. Ashes and cayenne mixed together are going as close to my waterline as possible without getting in there because I'm going to add liner and then blend the liner out into ashes and cayenne. Now I'm just going back in with cayenne and ashes on the same smudger brush and making sure that everything is as deep and pigmented as I want it to be. Also the same with the dome blending brush and sauce. 
Now I'm blending out the lower lash line with the scone blending brush to make sure everything looks very cohesive and smooth and finishing my brows. Actually starting my brows because I totally forgot to do them when I was doing the rest of my face so that I could finish up this eye look. I'm using a ColourPop highlight on my inner corner because ounce on my inner corner was definitely not doing it for me. And I almost dropped my eyeshadow palette. Also taking it on my cheeks just to add the finishing touches to my face. This is a cargo bronzer, but I'm using it as a blush and then adding more blush from this BH Cosmetics palette that I found at Marshalls and I'm totally in love with. We are almost done. I'm applying three coats of this mascara and two on the bottom lashes. With the eyeliner, I'm gonna line my tight line and waterline. And I'm going back in with the smudger brush that has leftover cayenne and ashes just to make sure that the eyeliner and my waterline is blending out nicely. I fell in love with this lipstick color when I got the 25 sample lipsticks from Ulta when they came out with their Vice lipstick the first time, so I was super excited to buy the full size along with my eyeshadow palette. Mm -hmm. 